Also, the Las Vegas Raiders are going to be taking on the Kansas City Chiefs this Sunday, and they're definitely going to have their work cut out for them as the Raiders are 2-5 and five and the Chiefs are undefeated, trying to three-peat in the Super Bowl. So can our beloved Raiders throw a little salt in the wound from last Christmas when we gave them the beatdown? Can we do it again in our own stadium? Well, I think in order to do that, the Raiders should make a change at quarterback, and that change should be to Desmond Ritter. We're going to get into the reasons why I think that this would be a good idea for the Raiders and if you guys agree drop a comment down below or if you disagree we'll look at those comments as well but first I want to thank this week's winner of a Mad Max Just Win Baby Dry Fit t-shirt Danny Ortega 6686 congratulations my man your comment was the random comment selected in our very successful video that got almost 20,000 views thanks to you guys commenting down below. But don't worry, we got more prizes to give away. In fact, last week we gave away a $300 Xbox Go smart gimbal for your smartphone, and guess what? We got another one to give away, and we'll be giving that one away soon. If you want to enter to win, all you have to do is be subscribed, like this video, and comment down below draft 2025. We are still sticking with that keyword for the grand prize. So if you guys want to enter to win, just comment down below, like this video, and make sure that you're a subscriber. Now let's jump into today's video. Why do the Raiders need to make a change at quarterback to a guy that we just picked up off of the practice squad from the Arizona Cardinals, a guy who just got cut by the Atlanta Falcons and found himself almost out of a job, even though he was a third round draft pick just two years ago, and even was touted as possibly being a first round draft pick. Well, here's the reason why Desmond Ritter should be the starting quarterback for the Las Vegas Raiders. Number one, Gardner Minshew is just not good as a starter. He is having the worst season of his career, and he simply cannot put it all together. The Raiders cannot continue down the path of Gardner Minshew not having success. And this is nothing against Gardner Minshew. And believe me, I have, even though I have been saying on this channel that Gardner Minshew should not be the starter, even though I've been saying that Gardner Minshew is not better than Aiden O'Connell, I have never once called for or prayed for or hoped for the downfall of Gardner Minshew. I am a Raiders fan first and foremost. I want us to win regardless of who the quarterback is. But when you look back on Gardner Minshew's history as a pro in the NFL, he has never been consistent, and to be a winner in the NFL, you have to have consistency, especially at the quarterback position, and this is something that Gardner Minshew has always failed at. He will hit you with a really nice play that makes you think, oh my goodness, we can win with this guy, and then he'll have a boneheaded play where he throws a pick six. That's simply the nature of Gardner Minshew, and because of that, you cannot put the ball back in his hands unless it is absolutely positively necessary due to injuries. And I know for a fact that there are other Raiders podcasters out there who were calling for, praying for, hoping for, and celebrating the downfall of Aiden O'Connell and him breaking his thumb, which is absolutely atrocious in my mind. How anybody can call themselves a Raiders fan, make a YouTube video, basically calling for Aiden O'Connell's downfall. Now listen, I have never also been one to say that Aiden O'Connell will be a superstar, but I do believe that Aiden O'Connell gave us the best chance to win. Now that he's out with the broken thumb, you have to make a change. Obviously, the coaching staff do not believe in Carter Bradley. That's why they didn't bring him up from the practice squad. Instead, they went and they got Desmond Ritter. Well, here's a few reasons why I think Desmond Ritter should be the starter this week and moving forward, even though I actually said they probably should wait until after the bye week to give him the helm. Desmond Ritter himself in his first locker room press conference stated that it typically takes about a week for a quarterback to pick up the main parts of a playbook in any given system, but this system is familiar to what they were running in Atlanta, so he simply has to pick up some of the verbiage and he should be good to go. Also, he announced, also, he stated that other quarterbacks 
in the NFL have been able to arrive to a team on a Monday or a Tuesday, play on a Thursday, and win. Now, we know who he was talking about because this happened to the Raiders, and in fact, he even mentioned him. Baker Mayfield arrived to the Rams on a Monday or a Tuesday, played us on a Thursday, and put a whooping on us. And therefore, that is proof that a quarterback can get to a team and literally be the starter the very next week based on the fact that this has happened time and time again in the NFL. Listen, in order for Desmond Ritter to be effective as the starting quarterback against the Kansas City Chiefs, he simply needs to have a base of about 25 plays down, which is not difficult to learn in a week's span. He's a very smart young guy, and I'm sure that he can do it. He has been in the pros now for two years, and he will be able to pick up the Raiders offense. Let's face it, we're going to just run the same plays over and over again anyway, whether it's Gardner Minshew or Desmond Ritter, simply because that's what our offensive coordinator does. And therefore, it should not be a problem for him to do it. Why is he better than Gardner Minshew? Number one, he's a little bit younger. That doesn't really mean anything. But number two is the fact that he is more athletic than Gardner Minshew. He is actually better at running with the ball, and he's better at throwing the ball off platform than Gardner Minshew is. And he can make plays. He has a better pocket awareness and escapability. All he needs to do is make sure that he is careful with the ball and making smart decisions. If it's not there, just throw it away or run for a few yards to keep the chains moving. That's all Desmond Ritter needs to do. I think the Raiders need to rely heavily on Alexander Madison in this run game and mix it up a little bit, and make sure that you get Brock Bowers involved. If Desmond Ritter is the starter, the Raiders have a better chance at beating the Chiefs, in my opinion, than if you start out with Gardner Minshew. Yes, Gardner Minshew is going to come out for the first 10 plays, and he'll be effective, and we might even score a field goal, or who knows, maybe even a touchdown. But after that, it is lights out. It is over. Gardner Minshew will continue to be inconsistent, throw interceptions, and have turnovers. This has also been accused against Desmond Ritter. He's had a bunch of fumbles. He's had a bunch of interceptions in his first starting year with the Atlanta Falcons. And this is why they ended up cutting him and moving on from him. But listen, at the same time, a starting quarterback in the NFL coming out of the draft needs time to get adjusted to A, a system, and B, the NFL speed of the game. Look at Sam Darnold having success now in like his first, fourth or fifth year in the NFL. It took him that long to finally start being successful. Sometimes a quarterback just needs time to mature into the NFL system. And who knows, Desmond Ritter, a new team coming to the Raiders, getting the chance to be a starter might end up shining. He might end up becoming the Sam Darnold type of story where he's going to be effective. He could be the next Baker Mayfield who's going to be effective. Is Desmond Ritter going to be a superstar? Is he going to be Lamar Jackson? Is he going to be Patrick Mahomes? No, he's not. He probably never will be. But we're not asking for that from Desmond Ritter right now. What are we asking from this young man right now? We are asking for him to simply give us a shot, a chance to at least be competitive for the rest of the season. Now, with that being said, I also want to address one more thing, and that is the rumor of a Cooper Cup trade from from the Rams and that they are shopping him. And a lot of people have said the Raiders should go out and get Cooper Cup because we just traded off Devontae Adams. And here's why I unequivocally say absolutely not to trading for Cooper Cup. Despite the fact that he was the MVP of the Super Bowl a few years ago with the Rams, and he had a fantastic, amazing, outlandish year that year, he has steadily degressed each and every year, and this is his worst year since becoming a rookie in the NFL. He is 31 years old. He is not getting any better. He is only getting worse, and therefore the Raiders should stay away from this trade. Plus, they're asking for a second round draft pick for a 31 year old who hasn't even put up 300 receiving yards on the season 
I say stay away, run away, do not waste your time with Cooper Cup. Jacoby Myers is back. He should be playing this week in this game, and he's going to be our wide receiver one. DJ Turner and Trey Tucker will be two and three, and Christian Wilkerson will be a rotational guy. Plus, we have some other guys that we can throw in there as rotational players as well. Let's stick with the wide receiver core that we have for the rest of the year don't go reaching out and trading off our draft picks we're going to need those draft picks if you haven't seen my mid-season draft predictions go and check that out i dropped it uh, yesterday there are some interesting picks and as well as a spinner for your brain at the end of that video 